Hi everyone, you alright? And welcome to the Alan Kane's Daily Blog. Yeah, some of my friends have been uh, contacting me that they've been having problems with their bank accounts. Yeah. Well, my friend Dan has been saying things about saying things about uh, that sort of thing that you should have more than one bank yeah so you know keep everything that you've got just don't have the one because they'll you know if you can't get into one bank and you have another one have more than two because it'll save a lot of hassles I've got my furry friend here she's Betsy Um, yeah I'm just waiting to see what happens we did go out we went to Tesco and we did the usual others. We went to um, B&M at Whiteberg and we went to Food Warehouse. Managed to get four bottles of milk for 80p. Not as cheap as it usually is. Um, Because, like, we could go to get a one and a a half uh, size for that price at um, at Lidl's for that. Yeah. So, it wasn't uh, too good at... uh, B&M so we managed to get at least four and we also went to as I said we went to the food warehouse had a walk round there got three trays of chicken for Betsy here yeah yeah and I must admit, there was some at fridges, some at fridges at the food warehouse were empty, literally empty. I don't know what had gone on, but the fridges were, some of the fridges were empty because they hadn't received a um, delivery yes I had a look at TG, TGI's uh, fridge at uh, at the food warehouse and it was full it was full they keep they keeping in f- uh, food warehouse stocked up with stuff um, it has been confirmed that they are going to close 35 um, outlets. Which ones they're going to close hasn't been uh, mentioned. Most probably the ones that aren't uh, particularly doing very well. So they'll most probably get rid of those. Yeah. Uh, the other um, thing that has cropped up, I think I did mention it in one of my uh, blogs, that the Pizza Hut on the bottom of Lower Rodley Street, uh, near to the, I think it's Matterland, Lower Audley, 
has been taken by McDonald's. I was quite surprised about that because it's not so far away from a Burger King round the corner, back of the ice arena. If they do take that, how much business is it going to take from uh, Burger King? Because I've looked, looked it up. There's one McDonald's in the town centre. There is one at Ewood. If I remember too rightly. Yeah. Yeah, there is. There's one on... It's just that one road. The A666. Right? It's... Well, going on that road. And... Yeah. How how much business would that take from the Burger King uh, franchise? And then you have the one in the town centre. Yeah. There's quite a few McDonald's round the Blackburn area. Yeah. So we'll just have to see how that goes. And there's supposed to be something going up. Or I think it's just across from... Uh, Tesco. I don't know if it's a, if it's a, a drive driving or not, but I've been hearing that it is. But it looks a bit too big for a um, a what was it? It's either a Burger King or something else. And I'm just waiting to see what it could be. But my personal opinion, I don't think it'll be any of those. But uh, it's mainly four stories. So I've got a funny feeling it's going to be an office block. Um. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens with that. So how are you lot? Okay, I hope. I understand that Walt Walt Disney uh, got evacuated due to the hurricane. They're expecting another one very soon. It might be hitting hitting the area by now. Um, believe it or not, we are getting quite a fair bit of rain here at the moment in the northwest of England. Um, there are rumours that it could be the tail end of it when it when it's what's going across uh, to Florida. And uh, making a mess of things. Yeah. So if you're thinking of going on holiday, the the don't bother. Uh, because the place is at, is in absolute shambles. And uh, it's going to be really, really bad. Especially for them, and all they, all they, you know, don't need is a bunch of tourists turning up. Yeah. So, um, so my hopes and prayers go to them. Yeah. So I'm just waiting to see what happens tomorrow. As I said, I got my. F- Friend Betsy sat on the bed at the moment and uh, 
I'm waiting to see what happens. Either uh, for tomorrow and uh, take it from there. So, I just hope you lot are alright. Because, uh, you know, I don't want uh, anything to happen to my subscribers. And very soon I'm going to have another look round uh, the town centre and round uh, Northgate. And uh, there are quite a few bloggers in Blackburn, but when I go through um, YouTube, there's not a lot. They're not posting, shall we say. And there are quite a fair few that they've been like filming. I've, I've noticed them going around the town centre, um, making videos and stuff, but uh, not a lot of uh, footage going up. So. I'm waiting to see what's going to happen with this new... Um, I think they're doing a... A media school at Blackburn College. It's going to go where the car park is across from the... Department of Work and Pensions and um, where the car park is at the moment but uh, I've got a funny feeling that the grounds where the Daniel Freights is is going to be turned into a car park so that uh, you know when that goes up it would, uh, you know, have a car park for that part, for that part, when the new uh, campus goes up for visual arts, they're calling it. So we'll just have to see how that goes. And one major thing about that, it's a bigger space than what they've got now but uh, I've got a funny feeling it's going to go from uh, where the where back of the DWP office is at the moment all the way across to where the bus station just right next to the bus station and I think they might just leave a few spaces there for the staff and everything and, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Then again, for all I know, uh, it might even turn round and uh, be a bit of a flop. You know what I mean? So, we'll just... But the reason why I say that, they have uh, an empty building on Blakey Moor, uh, which used to be... The what was it? Oh, it was for like uh, business. Yeah, yeah, business. Uh, like you know, office work and everything. Yeah, so that's empty at the moment, but we'll just have to wait and see if that. Uh, gets in gets into use or not because uh, it's just one of those things that uh, the the college turns round and and uh, places people in there because to be truthful they've got bit parts of cam campus scattered all over all over the place really 
because they have a training school for um, technicians for like doing um, central heating and all that sort of stuff, which they moved uh, to the Saturn Centre, I think, if if I get it right. And, uh, yeah. So, it's called, I think it's called Blackburn Gas uh, Academy. And they've also moved the accounts department from there to uh, up near Glenfield Park for their uh, accounting department. It's not really uh, on the car, on the on the uh, um, college campus at all. So yeah, this basically. Uh, spread it all over over the town really it's not all in one area so yeah I'm waiting to see what happens now well I'm going to disappear now and I'll see you in the next one